Guys. Guys. Guys, guys. Okay. <clears throat> we need to have a serious conversation. All right, as I'm going to try and fix this so that you can't, like, see the light that's over my head. Okay. Uh, I'm, we're going to try and have this serious conversation while I'm introducing everybody back to MLB 9 Innings. who are on my channel again today, and we will be opening up packs. Um, I think we need to um, address the elephant that is in the room. My fantasy football team played like fucking shit this week, and I'm already down week one. My guy has two players left to play, and he is already beating me by 10 points. Derrick Henry, Chris Olave, um, my kicker was the Falcons kicker. The person that put up the most amount of points on my fantasy team this week was the Vikings defense at 21 points. My opponent had the Bears defense put up 26. Can't catch a break. That's tough. But anyways, anyways, <clears throat> besides that disaster, um, we're back here on MLB 9 Innings and we'll be opening up packs. I am going to say that last week's video completely botched it as I pull a Blake Snell. I completely botched last week's video. I forgot to talk about the most recent update. I forgot to talk about the... Um, I forgot to talk about the details of the most recent update, which include the fact that we can now be guaranteed a diamond trainer. Big long story simplified is every single game <sighs> Okay, so I had to get rid of the hiccups. Every single game that one plays in the 2029 Master League season or later is guaranteed 12 points. These points are, as we get a premium skill change to get nice, um, these points, as I'll show here, tally up in this trainer recruit point system. Okay? Every single game played is 12 points accumulated I think if you win the World Series it's like 250 points added as well onto the 12th you have to accumulate what is a total of as you guys see here 50,000 points before you can get a, di a guaranteed diamond trainer which sounds like a lot it's a lot of points but it's a way of offsetting the ridiculous odds that were Diamond Trainer pulling them. Diamond Trainer pulls, not Diamond Trainer pulling them. Pulling Diamond Trainers, Diamond Trainer pulls. So it's cool. You know, you'll see more and more as time goes on, more teams start to have Diamond Trainers. Hopefully they have better Diamond Trainer luck than I do. Because everybody knows that my diamond trainer luck so far has been uh, not the greatest, to say the least, especially as of late. But with that being said, that's that. Okay, They also changed end-of-season rewards. Normally you'd get a chance of getting players or refreshing to different options. right? Now you get packs. But... You're guaranteed a diamond player select pack, and then you have the option to choose another pack or other different item. So, like, you can get blues, greens, different types of trainers, of course, with uh, odds. 
that come with the p chances of pulling uh, the items. Wow, again, the diamond from uh, five silvers is pretty nice. But that as well is just another way of like, it's a little small touch up. Like now you can't pull, I have the chance to pull diamond uh, primes or diamond vintages from end of season rewards. So now it's going to be a bit harder for me, especially to do diamond vintage combos because I don't have the option to pull diamond vintages from end of season rewards anymore. Not like I would be pulling any in the first place, but that's going to be a bit harder, but maybe not because as I said, they're guaranteeing a diamond player select pack. So that's already there a chance of seeing 14 different cards all from all over the game. When with the old system, you would have a max of seeing 12. So you already have a chance of seeing two more players. Right? Which means two more chances of pulling a Diamond Prime, a Diamond Vintage. I've seen people pull Diamond Legends from End of Season Rewards. Or from the uh, Player Select Packs. So... That's just something that's like cool. It's something small, but I think it's better because like a lot of guys nowadays were just like the end of season doesn't really like make any sense for me. Like um, just like getting the player. Oh, yeah, it's cool to pull a diamond uh, prime or diamond vintage here and there, but it doesn't really happen all that much. So but that was changed. It's a cool change. Uh, at first, I was like, oh, I don't really know why I needed to be changed. But then I was like, you know, you can pull diamond trainers and blues and greens and other types of trainers. So it's not that bad as we pull a prime. I will talk about primes later. It's Lance Lynn. I believe I already have Lance Lynn. As we get a, get a diamond. Nice. Um, so Sean Murphy when he was on the A's. Um, so it's grown on me a bit. Um, just like the new f uh, form for kicking a field goal or kickoffs. There's a vintage 64 base Lou Pinella, who was a Yankees player, as well as some other teams, I believe. And then went on to manage. We got a second diamond there. But uh, James Char Karinchak. Haven't seen him in the longest time. But speaking of primes... I have made the executive decision that I am going to be done opening team select packs for the Giants. Going to be done. And I will instead change over to the Mets. Now, I will not change, oh, well, you're going to be doing a new team. Oh, well, the odds can be different. It's still regular team select packs, no matter what team I pull. Yes, I understand each team has more cards. But the Legend chance stays the same. The Vintage and Prime chance stays the same. It doesn't fluctuate, oh, it's 0.5, but this team is 100 different options of cards of pulling. But this team is 120, so it's harder. No, it's still the same 0.5 or 0.45 or 0.00025%, which is why I will not be adjusting the odds for this change. Um, but I will be doing team select packs now for the Mets until I pull every single new prime that the Mets have. I don't. Okay, can't do that. I don't have an Edwin Diaz prime on the Mets. I don't have a Francisco Lindor prime on the Mets. And then the two new ones are Carlos Delgado and Max Scherzer. I don't have either of them. So because of that, I will be switching over to the Mets until I pull all of those primes and then I will go back to the Giants because eventually I will pull a legend from Team Select Packs. Odds have to, odds state that it will happen eventually, okay? So with that eventuality occurring, I would rather it occur with the Giants than the Mets because... I already have all the legends possible for the Mets. 
Granted, it's only one, but it's still also name. Um, granted, it's only one, but it's only one. So, with that being said, oh, I don't have a land's land. Oh, and I had his diamond prime. That's what it was. But, all right. So, with that being said, that is going to be the changes that you guys will be seeing with Team Select Packs. And those are all Team Select Packs. Regulars, Ultimates, Diamonds, all that stuff. And then Live, always stay the same. And then when it becomes like a Pitcher Batter, right now it's 2-2. Two and two. I'm going to go Pitcher. No, I'm going to go Batter. Because that guarantees that I can't pull a Legend, since the Mets' only Legend is a Pitcher. Now, let's just say down the line, the Mets got a new legend, right? If they eventually add uh, Dwight Gooden, his 1985 season. And then I would start to use teams like Pax. And then if I had to choose a pitcher or batter, I would choose pitcher in the chance of pulling the Doc Gooden. They have to get rid of Shamanai's hair. Respectfully, he just does not have that hair. He cut it, so get rid of it. Jeff McNeil is also out for the year. Brett Beatty is has to be called up again. So I don't know why he still has a thing for the Mets. So here we go. It's going to be a total of 17 team select packs that are going to be premiums. We pull five golds. Okay. So let's make those changes here. Oh, just did not make the change. And then five silvers, which now gets me at 504. Silver's total pulled. Out of 630, it's not terrible. Okay, and seven more. Let's see what we get here. We don't get a diamond. That's all right. We just get one gold and six silvers. And no vintages. All right. There's an acid reed, though. We'll take that. So now I'll go with the three... Live season ultimate player packs. We get a diamond. I'll take that. One from three. Not bad. To the Met. No. Davis Schneider. Guy started off on a hot streak last year. When he was called up. Has not been able to rekindle that um, same fire that he had from last year. There's Felix Bautista's prime. I don't have this prime. I will go bottom middle. He went up top. That's fine. Oh, I also don't know if I've mentioned this, but um, my diamond trainer thing is not as high as like others, even though I've been playing a decent amount of um, a league. Because, actually, I'm going to hold off for that. I'll go and check now. Because I pulled a diamond trainer. So we will have a diamond trainer to use in this video. I can't remember if I had said that, but... Addison, that's her name. So I don't have an Addison read on the Mets. So I will put that in in case they remove him, ever. And I do eventually use that um, Sig Change ticket on him. Which, again, I still have the one Sig Change remaining, guys. So if you guys haven't already, check out my community tab. I was, trying to, I was about to say communications. For my community tab post about uh, what I should do with my, um, <clears throat> with my, um, this should also be enough, so I'm just going to be done here, with my uh, sig change, which if I look, there it is. So we got 21 um, ultimate player packs, we already get a diamond, so now we're at 4 through 13. Pretty good. That Matt Olson's pretty nice. Can't lie. And let's go with the remaining 11 here. There's another set of diamond. Just one. So now it's 5 through 23. There's Sean Manaya on the Padres. Wasn't great that year. And then this last one. I doubt it gives me a diamond just to being one. Yeah, so. Still, seeing five diamonds from 24 so far is pretty good odds. Now, that just means that these Ultimate Team Select Packs will most likely not give me a diamond. 
I was correct. But Odd stated that that wouldn't happen. Oh, we get a vintage. Okay, let's go and put that in. That is now 23 golds and one vintage. And then I will just put here on the side, diamond, or I will say gold, and then diamond. So that's one, and then uh, equals sum of these four. Oh, right, I messed that up, I did the wrong thing. I think I have to do K4. Okay, and then delete that to be four. Yeah, so that includes primes, vintages, and legends. Okay, so finally a team select ultimate gives me a vintage, um, first time, and, oh, I won't have enough space. Okay, uh, I can also, like, get rid of the a lighter because I have his diamond and even though he does have a met sig his met sig isn't the most useful for me so he will just be staying around until double mileage time so I'll probably do this combo as we get the diamond nice I'll take that and then keep scrolling there we go this will probably just be my last combo before I finish up the remaining packs that I have so you guys see I have six diamond uh, uh, player selects. I think that's what it is. Yeah, diamond player selects. So I will use the three diamond packs first. Let's see what I get from here. Okay, so no diamond prime or vintages. Um, Bobby Witt, 23. That's a pretty good one. Now I will do my two, three team select diamond packs. These will all be the Mets. See if I can get a Diamond Prime or Vintage. If I got a Legend, that'd be cool. Okay, so no Legend or Prime. No Vintages, okay. Oh, Duda. I already pulled your six, so I don't really care. So, care to keep, at least. It's going to be 102 total, because I have the Team Select Pitcher Batter, which, again, as I said, will be going Batter. So I have no chance of pulling a legend. Oh, but Patrick, pulling a legend would be pretty cool. Yeah, it would, but I don't want to have a... Do I want to have a dupe legend in case they do bring a thing around? I probably would. So I actually am going to change that reasoning so that when it becomes next time, I will choose pitcher in case I pull a diamond legend. Okay, so nothing here. Um, I'm going to go with the Dylan Cease when he almost won Cy Young Award. So we are 0 for 1 in terms of the Diamond Player Select Packs. For, of course, looking for Diamond Primes or Vintages or Legends, possibly. Okay, we're 0 for 2. I'm going to choose... Not really any good options here. I'll probably just choose Benintendi. So let's see. Diamond Player Select Pack... We are... There we go. Okay, we got a Diamond Prime. It's the wrong Diaz. It's not Edwin Diaz on the Mets, but it's a Diamond Prime nonetheless. So I will take the Edwin Diaz Prime. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. We got three more. We see a Met, but it's not a Vintage or a Prime, so I don't care. We're going to skip on, and nothing here, but we do see another Met. Seth Lugo's best year, so I'll choose him. Even though the Robertson's better. I'm a Mets team, so. Two Diamond Player Select Packs. If I don't see anything else from the remainders, I'm not going to be that mad because we did see a Diamond Prime, which is cool. Uh, nothing here. I'm going to choose TJ Antone because he sent me sunglasses one time. Again, I think I made a YouTube video about that. Check that out if you guys haven't. And the last Diamond Player Select Pack. Don't get anything from the first one. That's going to refresh one more time. We don't get anything. So we see one Diamond Prime going to take uh what's his name oh man it's not jolly it's not is it jack i think his name's jack on um whatchamacallit's on uh 
John Boy Media. He is the big Wade Miley fan. So, let's just get rid of some of the small, basic stuff here. Um, what will I be doing next? It'll be... I don't have a SIG pack today, which is, again, the first time in a while I don't have a SIG pack. But, you know. Um, oh, actually, I just realized I should equal... Um, this divided by this, enter, oh yeah, and then this equals, oh, I know what it is, it's, oh no, escape, sorry, I just realized that I made a mistake in my thing, divided by some K4 to case L6. So that should just be, uh. Oh, wait, then. Hold up. How the hell would I get this then as a percentage? Nah, that can be something I figure out later. Don't get to do that right now when you guys are watching. Uh, I will do the silver lotto tickets. See what I can get from here. 505, fine, whatever. Exchanges. So we do have a gold exchange to do. I will do that. Now I have consumables. We're going to start out with the three premium trainers. I don't have enough space. Oh boy, I'm going to need to make 10 spaces. I always forget to do this. Sorry, guys. How many spots do I have? So I need to get rid of stuff. Um, so you're new. I don't really know if I'll use that. It's like, eh, it's kind of low, so I don't care. That's a no. Not bad. Mm. That's a no. I'll say that much. Um. Fastball and break. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. I sort by grade. I remember that now. Um, I know that there's one. That's a no. It's just doesn't make any sense. Um, and then that's a definite no. That's a no just because it's too low. So that's six. So I need to get rid of two more. I believe I can just release some of these. I'll keep the elite fielding. I know that. Uh, deception specialist is a no, and takeoff expert's a no. Okay. So we've got enough spaces. Nice. Now, let's try again. So first set of premium trainers. Guest hitter. Nope. Getting rid of. Getting rid of. Getting rid of because they're too low. Now, gold trainer recruit tickets. Hitting expert, leading hitter, and nasty pitch. So pitcher one, gone. That I don't, that's getting rid of, I don't need it. That leading hitter, if I, if it's, I mean, those aren't bad percentages for a third baseman. Not terrible. Batter, that's getting rid of. That's not bad. And the nasty pitch for a closer, so I'll probably get rid of that because I don't need a closer nasty pitch. I already have one. Please, Diamond Trainer, be good. Not like the last one. Please be one that I can use. Please, 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 please. Zone control. Okay. Don't be a fur closer. It's first starter. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Whatever. I have break. Okay. Not terrible. Not terrible. Now I just got to see which set this works the best with. But not bad. Not bad. I've pulled worse, as you guys have seen. Again, it's another pitcher one. And my offense needs more help than my pitching staff, but I'll take it. I will take it. Now we have nine premium skill change tickets plus a legend skill change ticket. What did I do here? Oh, yeah. Um, we're going to be going off of Jerry Samalia. More course, triple three. I mean, it's just not sustainable. Um, I asked around. Guys were like, no. 
And I'm not trying to use the legendary skills like change to get on him. So we will just rock with these nine uh, premium skill change tickets. Let me also just adjust the stats here for it. So it's going to be from 215 to 224. So now let's see. First one, we don't get anything. Again, I'm, I will look for a bottom skill four or higher legend skill because he doesn't have four or higher. He is a three. So, and then the, I don't even know, the legend skills change ticket. I don't even know who I'll use it on. It could be Familia. It could be Nimmo. Um, it could be Hojo. I really, like, don't know. Because Hojo, I mean, I think if Hojo was Pioneer, I'll most likely get rid of it on Hojo. Because, let me just see. It's Pioneer, so that's dragging it down. Yeah, he does. So, I think I'll probably use it on Hojo unless I change my mind. Oh, let's not use it on him. That would have been bad. Premium skill change ticket, yeah. I would respectfully or disrespectfully, because Familia sucks. I mean, triple threes, but no legend skills, so it doesn't matter. Um, I would not want to waste the, that resource on him. I'm already wasting premium skill change tickets on him, and the best I got was a workhorse 333. Can't even pull a premium skill change ticket today. So... No, no, you're kidding. You're actually kidding. You are actually kidding me. How in the world do I pull? I've only pulled three Legend Triple Three sets on my team. Not Legends. They are the Bad Ball Hitter set on Curtis Granderson and now two Workhorse sets on Jerry's Familia. This, I mean, this is getting screenshot and posted everywhere. Are you kidding me? That, that could not have been literally any other skill. Literally any other le legend skill. I would have honestly taken um, Pitcher's Insight. I would have. I would have taken Pitcher's Chemistry. If it was Pitcher's Chemistry... I could have put, um, wait, what, how do I, hold up, the high sets thing is just not, does not make sense. <sighs> wait, what the hell, what did I change? Something is not adding up. Okay, so that's so that's what I didn't change. Now you're six. You're now 19. You're now two. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And he even gave me finesse too. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. But yeah, I'm going to do it on Hojo to try and get off Pioneer, so I have too much Pioneer in my lineup. Um, oh, but Patrick, he knows when I have a second. It's, if this works, okay, I will find a way to deal with if it works. But it's not going to, so I don't really care. So let's see what I get. Yeah, chance maker two one two, strengthening the strength though. That's a skill I would use on him because he's a switch hitter. But we are not changing to strengthening the strength bottom skill set two. Oh, collect diamond trainers. I got a achievement. Nice. Get me my uh, level reset tickets. Distribution. Development redistribution tickets. Um, so I think that's everything to, for today. I don't have any blues. 
to use because, you know, I'm not using premium blues. I'm not going to use regular greens on anything. There's nothing to use them on. Um, pack draw, I'm, not, I'm going to save the gold pack for next week. So, oh yes, um, next week there's also the live update, which I can't remember if anything special happened in the live update besides, like, player of the month and, like, stat boosts and changes and stuff. Team changes, okay. Images added. Guys were taken away, and I don't know who they were, per se. But some players were taken away from... Um, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Stop it. Oh, okay, I was about to say, if that actually froze, I would have been so mad. Um, guys have been taken away from the game, like taken out of the game. I don't know who. I'll probably just have to go into the... Um, player, whatchamacallit, I don't even know, the, the MLB 9 Innings Companion, and see what their most recent live update was, the players taken away, which honestly I can do right now. here it's just loading up um i also have to make sure that i put the diamond trainer that i pulled onto somebody this video is approaching 30 minutes long holy smokes it's over 30 minutes sorry guys uh there's surprisingly like a decent amount to do in this video especially with the diamond trainer clearing up the trainer space um there's shamanaya we had the sig with the giants last year but we'll pull Manny Machado. Not like there's anything wrong with that, though. So, but yeah, um, stay tuned for next week. Next week's video is going to have a big update on my channel and on my team, as well as, um, I mean, yeah, honestly, that's all I'm just going to say for it. It's going to be a big update and channel update next week. Um, this video is going to come out on Friday. So it's going to be the following Monday when the next video will be released. Hopefully I get to editing. But I, sh I should. So, yeah. Um, let me see. Oh, I actually have a pulled up here. Yeah, so 12th life update. So no players were removed. No SIGs, no new primes. Jason Hayward just went from the Dodgers to the Astros because he was claimed off waivers by the Astros um, as the uh, Dodgers released him. But... Am I getting close to the end? Here, yeah, I am. Okay, so it's going to be all diamond combos now. Um, but yeah, and then two cards were added. Corey Jolks and Jesse Chavez. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me this video, guys. Um, Juan Soto, yeah, Juan Soto deserves 67 contact. What? Talk's hitting like 300. This game makes no sense. Whatever. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, I'm going to try and wrap this up as quickly as I can. Um, you guys saw the stupid, stupid uh, luck that was the, um, not Mike Jacobs, the, whatchamacallit, I forget what it's called, honestly, uh, what the hell was it called, the, uh, premium skill change tickets where I pulled another triple three set, but it was workhorse on a reliever, unreal. But yeah, so this is going to be this combo, next combo. I did pull the Diamond Prime. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's see if I can call who I'm going to pull. Um, it's going to be the Eric Haas. It's going to be the Eric Haas to end this video. And I will see you guys later. Oh, I was feeling this guy. I see the weird name, but I said, no, nah, it's going to be Haas. Yeah, that's it. Peace.